All right, so we're going to start on our back today. And feel free to, to get your legs in any position that's comfortable. I like to start, if we're starting on our back, I kind of like to keep my knees up in the air just to really give myself a chance for that lower back to relax a bit. And just connect with that breath. And this really will be our theme today, is breathing. Really noticing that when you're having these moments of feeling frazzled or, um, you know, just kind of feeling uneasy right now, I'm noticing that I'm often holding my breath. And so this reminder to keep breathing and to use that to keep us present. And I'll offer up a very simple mantra that I just used in a meditation that I found very helpful is just very simply, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And feel free to use that mantra throughout practice. Becoming totally present with this breath, totally in the moment. Let's see if you can lengthen your breath a little bit here. Filling up the lungs and the belly. And with each exhale, is there any place that you're holding on to tension? Your forehead, your jaw, your neck or shoulders, back or hips? See, you can take the next couple of breaths just to let go a little bit more. Your only job today is to breathe. On your next inhale, let the arms and legs stretch nice and long, giving that full body stretch here, holding this for a breath or two. And as you exhale, drawing those knees into the chest, giving yourself a nice hug. Taking a moment to see how your hips feel this morning, how your lower back feels. Maybe massaging out that lower back a little bit here, rocking side to side. Or maybe today you feel like having stillness in your practice and really taking that time to go inward and notice where you're holding on to tension. Using these deep breaths to release and get deeper into all of our different postures today. And let the knees come wide, reach between the knees, aiming for the outer edges of the feet, coming into our happy baby. So it's early, if you're feeling tight, you might need to hold on to your shins or even behind the thighs. Try to keep that lower back down on the mat and let those knees Come towards the outside of the ribs, feet facing up towards the ceiling. Again, it might feel nice to rock a little bit side to side. I can always feel a really nice massage on that lower back in my happy baby. 
or you might feel like having some stillness today. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. Let's hold on to that right foot and let the left leg extend down the mat, flexing through that left heel, starting to feel that openness through the front of the left leg and into that right hip. And continue holding on to the right foot. We'll bend into the left knee, bringing the left foot to the ground. And we'll cross that right leg over the left, coming into our figure four, flexing through that right foot to protect the right knee. And if you'd like to go deeper here in the stretch, then you can bring that left foot off the ground, holding on behind that left thigh or in front of the left shin. Just try to keep your head and your shoulders for the most part staying on the ground. Flex into that right foot and see if you can start to release a little bit through the right hip, the right glute. Let those breaths fill up your belly, starting to create space down in that hip region. and connect with that mantra. Keeping the right leg hooked over the left knee, let's bring that left foot back down to the ground if you have it in the air. And keeping the legs in that figure four, we'll just let them drop over to the left so the right foot comes down towards the earth. I kill my plant over here. Right arm comes out to the side, gaze can be out over that right shoulder. Supine twist, really feeling that release on the outer edge of this right hip the glute, that massage actually feels kind of nice. Oh, and breathe here. Let's take one more breath. Breathing in. I am breathing out. We'll inhale, bring those legs back up through center. Uncross that right leg. Take a breath, letting everything settle down onto the earth. Inhale to get long through the arms and legs. Exhale, draw those knees into the chest, reaching between the knees, coming into another happy baby. Mm. And we'll hold on to that left foot this time and let the right leg come long. Flexing through that right heel, keeping that right leg active, opening up into your half happy baby here.
and holding onto that left foot, we'll bend into the right knee, bringing the right sole of the foot to the ground, crossing that left leg over the right thigh, coming into your figure four, taking a moment here to see how your hip feels on the left side. If this feels good, feel free to keep it here or bring that right foot off the ground, finding your edge, getting to a place where you don't need to lift your head or shoulders off the ground, and take those deep belly breaths, seeing if you can create space in this left hip. Taking our time, let's take four more deep breaths on the side. I'm finding myself going into my ujjayi breath, my audible breath, where I can actually hear my breath coming in and out of my nose. On your next exhale, let that right foot come back down to the ground, keeping the left leg hooked over. Inhale here. And as you exhale, let those legs come over to the right, keeping that figure four formation and gaze can be out over that left shoulder. Take two more breaths on the side, maybe even massaging that left hip, that IT band, releasing some of the tension that we hold there. You can massage your glute too if you'd like. Beautiful slow breaths today, inhaling those legs back up through center, unhooking that left leg, taking a breath to ground here. Inhale the arms and legs long. Exhale, bring those knees into the chest and gently make your way over onto your side. And let's gently push ourselves up into seated. <clears throat> Taking a moment to get nice and tall through that spine. Already feeling those hips starting to feel a little bit looser. Inhale, grow tall through the crown of your head. Exhale, let those shoulders come away from the ears. I have a nice little poem or saying that was shared with me that I'd like to connect with today is by Cleo Wade. Today I am breathing through fatigue, fear, and feeling overwhelmed. I breathe because when I breathe, I am reminded that I am alive. I am reminded that to be able to fill my body with air means that I have the ability to keep going. I am reminded that my time on earth may be short, but it can be powerful if I decide, dedicate it to love and fearness. When I breathe, I am reminded of Mary Oliver when she wrote, 
Tell me what you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. So I breathe and let my breath turn into a smile that says back to her as much as I possibly can. And connecting again with that mantra, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. Flexing through the feet here, let's inhale those arms up overhead. And as you exhale, fold forward, letting the hands come down to the earth and starting to open up through this back side of the body. And let's gently walk the hands over to the right, trying to keep that left hip grounded. Inhale those hands back through center. And as you exhale, walking them over to the left. Keeping that right hip grounded, feeling that stretch through that hip and lower back. Inhale the hands back through center and gently walk them up. Getting nice and straight through that spine. Let's inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, draw those hands to heart center. Inhaling arms up. Exhale. One more time, inhaling arms up. Exhale the arms down. And keeping your left leg folded in, we'll take the right leg and bring the foot to our side. So bring that right knee to the inside of the left foot, and that right foot is folded back next to us. Try to get straight up through the spine as much as you can. Inhale your arms up, and as you exhale, turn away from those feet, bringing that right hand across to the left knee, and the feet are folded over to the right. Use your left hand to stay nice and tall through that spine. Try to keep that right hip down on the mat as much as you can and twist here. Inhale the arms back through center. Exhale, hands to heart. Go ahead and fold in that right leg and we'll unfold the left leg. So taking it to the other side, our left knee is right in the bottom of that right foot. Try to get nice and tall through the spine. Inhale the arms up here. And as you exhale, turn away from those feet, twisting here.
two more deep breaths here. Inhale the arms through center. Exhale, hands to heart. And we'll just come forward now, right onto our hands and knees. Take my socks off. Get through the whole first half of class without needing to take my socks off. Love it. All right, settling in here. Hands are right below the shoulders. Knees right below the hips, working through your cat cow. So as you inhale, let that belly drop. Gaze comes forward, opening through that chest. And as you exhale, curling that spine back. Gaze is back towards your belly. Following your breath here, letting that wave of motion start at the tailbone and make its way all the way up to the top of the head. Staying connected with that breath throughout the practice today. Take a couple more rounds of breath here. Inhaling to drop that belly. Exhaling, curling up through that spine, drawing that navel up. One more inhale. And this time as you exhale, curling through that back, we'll sit all the way back into our child's pose. Taking your time here in child's pose. Get comfortable. Let your knees come as wide as you'd like. The wider the knees, the more you're targeting the hips. The closer together, the more you're targeting that lower back. Hands can stay extended or they can come back behind you. Deep breaths fill up the back side of those lungs and expand that lower back into the hips. See you here. If your arms are back, bring them forward. And we'll flow a little bit here, inhaling, drawing yourself up to hands and knees, curling the toes under and pushing back into your first down dog. So let's take three breaths in our first down dog here, really getting those hips back. And flowing here, inhaling, coming down to hands and knees. Exhale, sitting back into child's pose. Inhaling, up to hands and knees. Curling the toes and exhaling back to down dog. Follow your breath here, move at your own speed, inhaling. Hands and knees, exhaling, child's pose. Inhaling through hands and knees. Exhale, down dog. Go through two, minutes, two more times, all the way through your child's pose and your down dog.
And on your next down dog, we'll hold it for three or four breaths. I just had this beautiful image, this beautiful memory of walking on the waterfront up in Quebec City for some reason. Just remembering all the beautiful places there are in this world. Maybe a moment of gratitude for the places I've been able to see. And we'll gently walk those feet forward, coming into a forward fold here. Let the feet stay hip distance apart, hanging out in our rag doll. Letting the back of the legs open up and expand. Give ourselves two more deep breaths here. Inhale to straighten out through that spine, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. And this time, bend your knees slightly, get straight through the back. Inhale, those arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, let the hands come to heart center. Inhale here, and on your next exhale, let the palms keep, come forward, coming into your mountain pose. And let's take some time here today, really feeling grounded, maybe even closing your eyes and bringing your weight forward and back, side to side, just seeing if you can feel that shift in weight, noticing where your center of gravity is. Settling in, really trying to get that weight evenly distributed between both feet and between the front and the back of both feet. Keeping that slight bend in the knees just so that we're not locking out the legs. Engage your core, drawing that pelvis up, drawing those quads up, raising those kneecaps. Thinking about growing long through the top of your head and letting those shoulders come away from the ears, palms facing forward. Slight tuck in the chin to really let the crown of your head reach up towards the sky. And let's connect with that mantra. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. Really creating space here to find some stability. Present to feel alive today. Moving through some sunburst, we'll inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. 
Inhale for that flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, comes all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up through standing. Then exhale, hands to heart. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up through standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. This time, we'll bring our palms to the floor, or our hands to the floor. And as you exhale, step that left foot all the way back into your runner's lunge. So take a moment here, get that right knee directly over the right ankle. Nice long stride, push through that left heel. We've already opened up through that groin region a little bit with our half happy baby. As you inhale, bring your weight forward into your right foot. And as you exhale, we'll step that left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up through standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands come to the mat, and we'll exhale and step that right foot back. Get that nice long stride. Make any adjustments you need. And start pushing through that right heel, feeling that opening to the front of the right leg. So that right leg is very active. Breathe here. Inhale that weight back into your left foot. And as you exhale, step that right foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, comes up through standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands come to the mat, step that left foot back. Adding a bit of a flow. As you inhale, get broad through that chest. If you have blocks, this is a great place to bring the floor up a little bit. And as you exhale, straighten through that right leg, folding over it, drawing that right hip back. Flow here, inhaling, bending into that right knee, chest opens up forward. Exhale, straightening out that right leg, folding forward. Follow your breath for three more rounds. And breathing in. And breathing out. And on your next exhale, we'll hold this fold with that right hip drawn back. Make sure you're not locking out your right knee. Uh, take two more deep breaths, seeing if you can release a little bit more through that right hamstring. Uh, inhale, bend the back into that right knee, bring your weight forward. And as you exhale, step that left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Let the palms face forward. 
coming down by your side and take a moment to feel the difference between that right and left hip. Take it to the other side, inhaling our arms up here. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, flatten through that back. Hands come to the mat, step the right foot back. Get that nice long stride as you inhale. Get broad through that chest, pushing through that right heel. And as you exhale, straightening out that left leg, bringing that left hip back, folding over it. Find your flow here, inhaling forward, and exhale, folding over. Breathing in, and breathing out. On your next exhale, straighten through that left leg, fold over it, and we'll hold it for three deep breaths here. Make sure you're not walking off the knee. Really drive that left hip back. As you inhale, bend back into that left knee. Bring your weight forward, and as you exhale, step that right foot forward, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, come up through standing. Exhale, bring those hands to heart. Inhale here. Exhale, let the palms come forward, down by your side, mountain pose. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Hands come to the mat. We'll step that left foot to the back of the mat. Take your time to get that nice long stride. Right knee is over the right foot, the right ankle. And then we'll drop that left heel down so that the left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Preparing for warrior two. Inhale your arms up, engage through that core. And as you exhale, let those arms open into your warrior two. Your right knee is externally rotated. That knee is lined up right over those right toes and try to ground through the outer edge of that left foot. Shoulders are away from the ears. Shoulder blades melting down the back and the muscles in your arms are hugging the bone. So your arms are active, gazes out over those right fingertips. Connect with your breath. We'll flip our right hand towards the ceiling, lean forward slightly, and as you inhale, bring that right arm up overhead, reversing your warrior. And then as you exhale, both arms windmill down around that right foot, come up on your left toes. Inhale your weight forward. Exhale, step that left foot forward, forward, forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up through standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale here. Exhale, let the palms face forward down by your side. Inhale, arms up overhead. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands come to the mat and we'll step that right foot to the back. Take a moment, get your alignment in your low lunge. Let that right heel drop down parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale the arms up and exhale, open yourself up into your warrior two. Left knee is right over those left toes, trying to keep it nice and open and then grounding through the outer edge of the right foot. Settle in here, connect with that breath. Go ahead and flip that left palm towards the ceiling, lean slightly forward. Inhale that left arm up overhead, reverse in your warrior, and exhale, bringing both hands around that left foot, coming up on your right toes. Inhale your weight forward into that left foot, and exhale, step the right foot forward, forward. Inhale, flatten through your back, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale here. Exhale, let the palms face forward. Mountain pose. Just enjoying the sensation of those open hips and those quads. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flatten through that spine. Hands come to the mat. Exhale, steps that left foot back. Let the left heel come down, parallel to the back of the mat. And as you inhale, inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale, opening into your warrior two. This time, we're gonna straighten out through our right leg. Bring that left hip back slightly, so almost like you're kicking it back. Trying to not lock out that right knee. We'll take the upper body and lean it forward as much as we can reach. And then let that right arm come down and the left arm come up, opening into your triangle pose. Feeling that nice opening on the back of your right leg. Trying to keep your left shoulder stacked on top of your right so your chest is open and then feeling this nice opening on the left hip, maybe even bringing your left hip forward, like there's a little string here. I'm just pulling you forward just an inch, feeling that bigger opening through the left side body. Let's take two more breaths here. Gently bend back into your right knee. Inhale, bring that right arm all the way overhead, reversing your warrior. And exhale, hands come down around that right foot, come up on the left toes. Inhale your weight forward into your right foot. And exhale, step that left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up through standing. And exhale, hands to heart. On your next exhale, let those palms come forward, mountain pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands come to the mat and step that right foot back as you exhale. Let the right heel drop down. Inhale, the arms up overhead. And exhale, open into your warrior two. Having that nice warrior two alignment, we'll straighten out through that left leg. Bring the right hip back slightly. Make sure you're not locking out that left knee. Lean the body forward as far as it can go. Feeling that 
stretch on the back of that left leg, and then let that left hand drop down. Right arm comes up. Gaze can be up towards your right fingers, but if that hurts your neck, it's okay to take your gaze back down towards that left foot. Then let this left hamstring open, connect with your breath. Bending back into the left knee. Inhale that left arm overhead, reversing your warrior. And exhale, bringing both hands around that left foot, coming up on the right toes. Inhaling your weight forward into your left foot. And exhale, step that right foot forward, forward, forward. Inhale through your flat back. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, coming up through standing. And exhale, hands to heart. Let those palms come forward and we'll take one final mountain pose here. Feeling that strong connection with the earth and <clears throat> the settle, feeling of being settled, of grounding, stability. You hear those arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale through that flat back. Bring your hands to the mat and we'll step back, bringing our hips right back into down dog. Feeling those hamstrings, seeing if they feel different than they did at that beginning of class as we've opened them up today. Inhale to come down to hands and knees, sitting back and let the legs come out in front. <clears throat> Take a moment to sit up nice and tall and remove that extra flesh, those beautiful hips and butt from underneath those sit bones, feeling that ground and that connection with the earth. Having this length of the spine, we'll inhale the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, fold forward, letting the hands fall wherever they land, coming into a nice forward fold. Taking your time in this forward fold. Three more deep breaths here. Very carefully walk your hands up the body. Bend into your knees and slowly lower yourself onto your back. 
<sighs> Let the soles of the feet come together and the knees come out to the side, taking some breaths in our reclined bound angle pose, our Supta Baddha Kanasana. Breathing here. Let the knees come back up towards the ceiling. On your next inhale, reaching the arms and legs long. Exhale, bring those knees all the way into the chest. Give them a hug. Let the arms come up to the side and let the knees drop to the left. Pine twist. And we'll inhale the knees back through center. And exhale, let them come over to the right. Arms come out to the side, gaze can be over the left shoulder. Whenever you're ready, inhaling the knees back through center. Taking any final poses that your body's craving today and making your way on your own time into your Shavasana, letting the feet come long, palms facing up towards the ceiling, eyes closed if that's comfortable. And if you are feeling pressure in the lower back, feel free to bend into the knees, put a pillow under them. Take a moment to really get comfortable settling here for a few minutes.
Start to deepen your breath, bringing that motion back into your chest, stomach. Wiggling those fingers and toes. <clears throat> Waking up the body eventually, taking a nice big stretch up overhead. Mm, bring those knees into the chest and make your way over onto your side. And with eyes closed, gently pushing yourself up into a seat. Today I am breathing through fatigue, fear, and feeling overwhelmed. I breathe because when I breathe, I am reminded I am alive. I am reminded that to be able to fill my body with air means that I have the ability to keep going. I am reminded that my time on earth may be short, but it can be powerful if I dedicate it to love and fairness. When I breathe, I am reminded of Mary Oliver when she wrote, tell me what you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. So I breathe and I let my breath turn into a smile that says back to her, as much as I possibly can. Cleo Wade. Thank you for practicing with me today. The light in me sees and honors the light and good in you. Namaste.